Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Terraria. And last episode, we went back to hell and opened up some chests. And if I go down here, I straightened up my chests. I left some of them blank because these are basically overflow chests and extra chests I got right now. But I, I named them and sorted everything out. Like I said, I would. And as you can tell, I went back to hell and I got a bunch of guide voodoo dolls a lot of them and i got a platinum coin the only items i found while killing enemies so you know this uh when i i couldn't remember when i picked this up i was like where did i get this uh yo-yo from well like it comes from the bats let's go down here i'll go to this equipment chest see i got two more of them bats drop them the hell bats and i found where is it? Oh yeah, it was accessories. I got the uh, magma stones. I got two of them. And a bunch of these obsidian roses. Oh man, another slime rain. Didn't we just do this in the last episode? So yeah, I got these magma stones, which does uh, inflicts fire damage on attack. So if you equip this, your weapons will do a fire damage. And these obsidian roses redu reduce the damage from touching lava. Which I've already shown before. Because I've found one before. The uh, magma stones come from. Uh, I think it was the imps. So if you want to. If you want magma stone yourself. Uh, the imps drop them. And. The uh, yo-yos come from the bats. The hell bats. The ones that's on fire. If you want one of them. But I was going to show you guys something else, but slime rain, right? I can still show you and just go inside. They can't come inside. Alright, there's one thing else I did while I was uh, off camera. I played this after I uh, recorded yesterday. And, zoom out here. As you can see down in hell here, I built a platform. A very long one. And it goes all the way from here to here on both sides. And this platform <coughs> is for uh, the uh, wall of flesh fight. You notice I left like a section open right here. So when I stand up here, I drop the guide booted doll. I'll summon a flesh wall on that side. Or I can summon them on this side. And you probably notice I put these blocks here. Because when I'm in full run... And you're fighting a boss you have a tendency to might run off the edge if you don't make it to you know killing them fast enough and if that happens i have a, a safety barrier that's not going to cause me to just leap right off the edge <clears throat> so apparently this yo-yo has a chance to cause fire damage it seems like a very low chance but it does pretty good, a good amount of damage though it looks like every uh, episode we'll be starting with a uh, King Slime fight, it, it seems. And there was a building that I want to go check out in Hell, because right where I stopped, I noticed say, on the map, another building opened up that I didn't explore. So we'll check it out real quick. I know at a certain point, the building stops spawning and it just becomes a straight Hell. How layer, I should say. Jump into my yo yo, man. Ha. Yep, looks like we'll be doing another slime fight. <coughs> Excuse me. Says like I got a frog in my throat or something. Feels like I can't talk very well. <coughs> Well, I can't do that anyways, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, funny. Let's see how much this has becomes a tradition in my uh, in my uh, my series. I have a uh, king slime every time I start. I find this kind of funny. Last uh, last episode, we started out with a king slime fight, 
I'm gonna use the uh, this water bolt to take them down. It was quite funny. As long as you have other slimes to kill, they have a high chance of dropping mana stars as long as you're missing mana over here. So you can have infinite, pretty much infinite fire. I think I only ran out once. Oh, there's Kingo. Kingo Slamo. Show thyself. Dang blue slime, no. I ran out of mana. I set him on fire. Oh, you didn't expect me to have a jet pack? Well, jet boots. Well, I, wow, look at all these blue slimes. Yeah, he constantly spawns blue, sl uh, <coughs> blue slimes. <coughs> Dang. Sorry about that. Still, like I said, I just can't talk right now. Might be coming down with something. Because it feels like my voice is going out. <coughs> Gotta clear my throat. You ever get those days where you just feel like there's like <clears throat> something in your throat constantly? That's how I feel right now. I wasn't feeling like this like an hour ago. Oh, wait. I know what it is. Because I'm starting to record. That's why. Actually, I don't want to go this way. And I want to go down to hell real quick. We're going to check out that building. And that was missed. There's probably more buildings than that, though. To be honest with you. Only because there's a lot of stuff under there. I still don't get the body piece. Yeah. King Slime's being a douche. That's what he's being. Dropping the same stuff over and over again. Look at four of these now. Only thing, the only way to get these is from King Slime. Sad. Let's put these boots up with the rest of them. And a slime gun. Useless item. Not unless, you know, you're playing on multiplayer and you're doing some water gun fight or something. That's pretty much all it does. Alright. Off to hell. Off to hell, ladies and gentlemen. Let's water bolt it. Let's see if I hit anything as it's falling. They're hitting something up there. <clears throat> thought I was keeping them in a straight line. No, apparently not. Water bolts away, way. Wonder about the best strategy to take out Wall of Flesh when we get to that point. We're getting close to taking him on though. Really close. I want to do some finishing up, like, before I fight King Slime, or not, not King Slime, that guy's a pushover, but to, before I take out Wall of Flesh, I want to cut that big trench around my, or my home site, because as soon as you beat him, the corruption and hallow start spreading everywhere, and if you're not careful, it'll spread to your world, or your home site, and then it's just tough luck that's pretty much what happens it gets bad <clears throat> that's bone serpent spawn off of my my runway here nah the nutsack I made sure to add that into my run the nutsack it's glorious Maybe very in immature of me to say that, but it's funny. It is funny. Oop. Another portal. I'm getting a lot of these lately. I'm okay with this. There's another building over there. Sweet. And another painting, of course. Gotta collect those. Even I think I've gotten that one already. I don't know how much paintings are worth. You try to sell them. Oh yeah, before we go back to the dungeon, because I want to see if we can finish up the dungeon. I think there was a couple of gold chests left that we did not open. 
but before I head over to the dungeon, I want to make the, uh, you know, the hammocks for the molten hammocks. So, uh, last episode, I took got a whole bunch of hailstone. Is there anything even worth it out there? I don't see any chests over there. Nothing down there. Hmm. It's a lot of these hell forges, though. I don't think I got that painting. Painting. Best word ever. It exists in my head. Painting. <laughs> I'll learn to talk one of these years. And I'll sound professional. Yeah. Haha. -ha. You can't hit me with those. I wonder if there's any buildings on this side. Yeah, you still take pretty good amount of damage here. Even if you got molten armor, it still takes a pretty good amount of damage. You gotta be careful with the uh, lava. It does a lot of damage to you. Just like that. Didn't quite have enough boots to get over there. So far, I'm not seeing very much. I've seen it before. I don't know if it happens still, but chest from hell can actually spawn up here. I've seen it before, so it still is a possibility. Get away from me, serpent of bone. Boner serpent. Uh, lava pits everywhere. Yay. Oh, underneath the jungle. For a second, I thought that was chlorophyte. But nope, it's just spores near some grass. Man, it gets dangerous over here. Think about fighting a wall of flesh in uh, this kind of terrain. I've done it before and took them out before, only because I was lucky. And I had to touch lava yet again. Just a little pixel of lava, and I touched it. Won't jump up, won't jump over. I don't know what the chances are of chest spawning over into this, like, section of hell. I know it's possible. I've seen it before. You don't see it very often, though. And death. I just dropped 15 gold. Where's my gold? Over here. Where's that nurse? Hey nurse, give me some some healing. There you go. Have my one silver. Now, let's see if I have an obsidian skin potion. Yes, I got one. Uh, that was a lot of gold, so I don't want to waste that gold, so what I will do, actually favorite this, put away a bunch of, see I got another one of those roses, they're so common. There's a shortcut on your keyboard, I think I might have said it before, when I took out King Slime before, is that uh, if you push H you get health. Uh, you push B, the B key on the computer or keyboard, it uses buff potions. Like any buff potions that's in your inventory at the moment. So be careful, make sure you carry what you want to carry when you go into a boss fight, not just have a bunch of random buff potions in your inventory that you do not need. Like a builder's potion or whatnot. Stuff that has no use for a battle. No, 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 I'm not going to summon him down the hill. It's a dangerous proposition right there. Yeah, I have a summon down here that shoots things from ranged. And when that happens, he can uh, pretty much kill a voodoo demon and then wall of flesh. Unexpectedly. And I'm not ready for wall of flesh yet. So I'm after, after I'm done playing... Uh, Recording this today, I will play it off camera again to make the trench around my house 
And then next episode, which will be Saturday, that episode we will try the Wall of Flesh. I'm not going. I'm not saying I'm going to succeed. I usually die on them at least a couple of times. Till you get like the be the be best balance of weapons and whatnot. Till you get used to it. Cause I haven't fought them in a while. So expect me not to succeed right off the bat in that sack. Yeah. <laughs> I know I keep coming up with that saying, but I find it funny. I'm immature. I'm a 40 year old kid. That's just, that's pretty much it. I get bombs. I don't need bombs. There's so many bombs. Let's go inside of here. And I got all this free material when I took out all the buildings and stuff to build my pathway. I got a lot of that brick. And uh, I got some of the uh, hellstone brick. I got some furniture. All kinds of stuff. You can use to build some extra buildings. Just don't use the hellstone brick because if you have NPCs or anything else that goes in there, they will die. Because hellstone brick kills you stand on it so be careful when you use those particular bricks me and my brother a long time ago when they added the mechanical bosses we found out in an exploit with a hellstone brick that you can use it to basically give yourself to what is that called when you uh take damage and you have that uh, grace period or that uh, eye frames as I call them invincibility frames so when you are got the right amount of armor and health and whatnot the hellstone brick without the obsidian skull would do one damage to you over and over again and because it did one damage to you over and over again it negates negated all the damage from the mechanical bosses and I suck at traveling here. So that's how we used to take out the mechanical bosses, which is hard mode versions of Skeletron. The worm, or the uh, Eater of Worlds, he becomes the destroyer, a robot version. Isn't that where I died? Right here? Yeah, it is. So, B. Let's pick up my gold. If I can even find it down here. Where's my money? Um, guys, money. Oh well. Oh, I'm trying to get hit by these these imps. These guys do too much damage. Already got low health as it is because I keep failing my jumps. All right, where's my money? Did I pick it up? No. Did my, mo did my money just burn up? I thought money didn't burn up in lava. Maybe it does. <clears throat> well, that was a waste of a city skin potion. Oh well. 15 gold down the drain. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I use your, uh, your piggy bank. Let's get this mushroom out of there. Alright, Hellstone. Let's go and make you into a ham axe. Oh yeah, I can't make Hellstone bars. I need a uh, obsidian. Obsidian. Yes. Well, I got a lot of obsidian. I was kind of worried about that. Couldn't remember how much I had left. Alright, so let's make 10, that's 12. How much does it take to make the hand axe? 15? I'm guessing 15. One more. Let's go up. Now, right there it is. Yeah, it's a massive. So I just get 18 plus size. We had an enlargement pills. Alright. Now we can actually, one more thing I want to do in this episode besides going to explore the dungeons more to make sure we got everything, is to find the meteor, 
we got to find that meteor. Let me see if we get some meteor stone going. Even though know, we got a whole bunch of those meteorite bars. Look at this. I'm going to make a lot with that. Well, I can make the space gun. <clears throat> and I got another voodoo doll. I've been putting all my summon items in here. So when I'm down in hell, I can just go ahead and put it down when I need it. I'm trying to find some blocks. I used up all my dirt down in hell. Yeah, I don't want to use marble. I'll well, just leave that spot empty for now. Actually, I'll just put that in there. Sure. I wonder if this will work against a... Uh, it goes really fast. It's not auto-fire or auto-use when you hold down the button. But it has a real high rate of attack or DPS. Can I not hit this slime? It was going right through him. Oh, strange plant. Always pick these up. After a point, you'll uh, you start giving a whole bunch of those away. I'm thinking about starting the one side of my trench right here. Let's go ahead and put a one, two, three, four. I feel safe with four. But I don't know. I don't want to put this stuff on the uh, on camera because. This is very time consuming. It's going to take several hours. But it's worth it in the long run, guys. So when you get to this point and you want to protect your home site or your spawn point and your NPCs, it's 100% worth it. You give yourself a couple of hours and you got yourself a nice safe zone. But you got to get rid of the back wall too. That's why I built a hammock. So when I start doing that, I am ready for um, digging the back wall out too. The back wall will, like if there's corruption going across the grass here, and if it touches the back wall, it'll turn it to, uh, especially this kind of back wall right here, this grassy stuff, it'll become uh, corruption as well, and it'll spread over to your home site anyways. So you gotta clear it all out. So it's best to be uh, safe than sorry. And why four blocks wide is because I think corruption has a a chance to jump a two block wide gap, depending on how you know it's depending on how close the blocks are to each other, and it can jump over. So be careful with that too. That's why I'm doing a four block wide to ensure that it can't jump over. The only thing I am worried about is when you kill the wall of flesh. And it has a chance to spawn the V of Hallow and Corruption, either side of it, left and right. And if I kill the Wall of Flesh in the right spot, it's going to go right through my home site. And that's going to—that's that's what's worried me right now. I got to make sure to try to kill them in the right spot so it stays away from my home site because that V of Hallow and Corruption can go straight through your house. So it goes in a straight line. Well, not straight up and down, not vertical, but at an angle, like a V shape. If you kill him just right, he'll go. He'll go right into that spot. Talk about bad luck. I still need to throw that on my on my next episode before we do any type of wall of flesh fight or anything. I want to show you guys that thing. I wanted to do I said a couple of episodes ago all right let's go back down here oh uh, you know what I forgot guys can I not hit this thing has like a weird hitbox it seems like it has to hit the just the very tip of this or it don't count as damage what I will do is summon mr. Impy imp bro Oh, do I want to use this thing? But I did forget one thing. You probably noticed. My golden keys. I know I got some left. But I want to make sure to check everything here. I do have hellstone bars. Or well, the option to make them. I can make the phoenix blaster. I got all those handguns. The phoenix blaster is pretty good at fighting a wall of flesh too. It's ranged. 
and has good damage. Yes, that's what we'll be making, a Phoenix Blaster, when we get back. But I still haven't found the, uh, the Meteor, so that's something to do. Try to always get rid of these spikes that's closest to the floor, especially where you have to walk. This stuff can take you up pretty quick. And that's not good. But it takes so long to break these things. So long. Alright, let's break these up real quick. Wait, how'd my torch get broke? Not my torch, man. I put, I, I put blood, sweat, and tears into making that torch. Take them out. Haha. <laughs> Should drop some golden keys. Come on, drop keys, man. Since I forgot all my keys, whatever I had left in my house for some reason. I say I've beaten Treya, but it doesn't mean I'm an expert at it. Right? This was empty. I didn't get any of the rare paintings either. That sucks. Maybe my other world. That little world I made to get uh, the the horseshoe. That could be. Cause I haven't been in that dungeon at all. Could be something I want in there. That'd be cool if this thing goes through walls. It'd be a little bit game breaking though, but. See, there's like a weird hitbox on this uh, trident. Alright, let's go back to something I know we'll hit. I'm gonna keep going after these spikes, but every time I see them on the floor, I wanna get rid of them. I might actually do this off camera. I just gotta be careful. Because later on in the game, after you hit hard mode and stuff, at a certain point after you kill Plantera, the dungeon becomes more crazy and more dangerous. Ah. Another uh, dungeon slime. Always guaranteed a golden key. Alright, let's stay up top for right now. Then we'll head down. Go down, bro. Nobody wants you. Oh man, I left a dart trap there. Very unprofessional of me. Alright. Yeah, in hard mode, this dungeon becomes hard mode. All kinds of new enemies start spawning. This place becomes a madhouse. We get some good tools out of here. A good place to farm money, good place to farm weapons and rare drops. So when you get to that point. So make sure you're ready for this place though when in hard mode this enemies do some massive damage. Sometimes it can get kinda frustrating too. Why is this spot dark? Did I not put any torches down? Apparently not, right? I think I got all the water water candles. I do you believe? I good thing I got those that horseshoe. No fall damage here. No. They still take twenty five damage. That's over a heart. I know that bone. Save up your bone that you can make armor and stuff with it later on. In hard mode when you get the hard mode dungeon unlocked. You get this stuff called ectoplasm. You can add that to bone and stuff to make some pretty good armor. It's the armor that can heal you. Ow. I'm talking way ahead, you know, about all this stuff. Shouldn't be talking way ahead. It's kind of spoiler, isn't it? So spoilerific. Let's put a torch in there. Don't leave any area too dark. 
could be a good uh, farming spot right here. So I dig it out some more. These potions are always going to be the smallest potions in the game, so if you want to pick them up, it's up to you guys. I think you can make the smaller potions into bigger potions. Now the alchemy table. There's a jungle chest. I'm not sure if I had any chest here that I had left behind or not. I just, I wasn't for sure, so I'm going to go check it out anyways. Who doesn't like a good dungeon run? Is that? Yeah, I've already been there. Well, this goes around, doesn't it? Yep. These rocket boots don't have a hu uh, huge amount of life on them when you use them. Can't wait for the wings. Is in hard mode, you get wings. They you to take out a really tough boss at first. Well, it's not really a boss, it's just a enemy that's really tough. And that does, like, you can one-shot you with full health. And it's called the wy Wyvern, or Wyvern, or whoever, whoever, however people say it. And, yeah, that thing can do some massive damage. If you, uh, if you grew up in the 80s, or if you have seen the movie Neverending Story, anybody remembers the flying dragon named Falcor? That's what that dragon looks like, Falcor. Or the Wyvern. I think a Wyvern, by classification, is its front legs or its wings. It doesn't actually have front legs. And a dragon has all four legs plus wings. I think that's the classification between the two. <clears throat> that's the distinction. What makes them both different. If anybody was interested in that fact. So if you think Falcor does have both front and leg uh, front and back legs plus but he doesn't even have wings. Hmm. Confusing. Well, I don't think there's any more chests here, guys. <clears throat> Man, my voice is so broken right now. Unless I'm not too used to talking so much every day. Doing all this uh, recording and stuff, and my YouTube stuff. It's like I'm literally going through puberty all over again or something. I don't know. Well, I think we are done here, to be honest with you. And I know you came out. Only chests here are the... The, uh, biome-specific chests. Yep, there's one of them. Yeah, I think we're done here. Okay, I just, I wasn't for sure if we got all the gold chests or not. Let's head on out of here. Put stuff away. And we're gonna go find a meteor. Sounds fun, don't it? Did I have golden keys? Thought I did. Maybe I used them all up. Is that an extra shadow key? And I don't even know if that's worth anything in the shop. I need to make uh, more of these equipment chests because you get so much stuff. Let's give those up and let's put that up. I always usually carry blocks with me at all times because building a bridge or whatnot, but having rocket boots and whatnot, you don't really need that. Plus your uh, hook, hook shot, grappling hook thing. What was that doing? That's a strange plant. Uh, reflective metal. Reflective dye. Okay. Basic reflective dye. I'm guessing the uh, meteor is going to be on that side of the world. You never know though. I might change my dyes. I've had these dyes on for a while. Reflective dye and reflective metal. Do I have any more of this? No, I got more reflective silver. Oh, yeah. Look at all that reflective dye. Let's see a quick stack now. Okay. 
Okay, let's try these on. It doesn't really change us too much. Let's do silver. So I'm wearing like slightly shiny armor. Hmm. Mushroom die? Just looks funky. Not the best in the world. I want something bright and colorful. Is that all I had of that? Guess so. I know I'm wasting time doing these dyes, but. Oh, shoes. Oh, we can be the slightly shiny metal guy for a while. I like the, uh, the ones that's animated. Alright, let's go this way. Let's go to the ocean. Hold out a torch so it's not so dark. So you guys can at least see something. I noticed that YouTube, when you, after you render and then you upload, it tends to turn your videos slightly darker than when they were what they recorded at, because they have to compress the file. So I think it's a little darker. Hope I'm right. Let's see if it's helping here, because I keep thinking, since the meteor has landed several episodes back. That was always on this side, and I was right, there it is, and the corruption as well. Yay! Yay! Alright, the thing with this is, is that you gotta keep swinging. I should have brought some bombs. That would have made things a little easier. But don't stop swinging, why? It's because those meteor heads, they constantly keep coming. And they come from all different directions. They're like the worms, so they go through the walls, as you see. Alright, I got something else I need to do real quick. I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is we're going to make some bombs. Right, here we go. And it takes bombs and slime, which I got 999 slime, plus these bombs. And then you can turn them into sticky bombs, which is your best bet. But bombs can hurt you, so be careful with that. Do not stand near them. And while I'm at it... Um, where's my handguns? Did I leave them somewhere? Okay. Yeah, here we go again with this losing my items. That sucks. Don't get in my way. Oh. Oh, there's one of them. Apparently I did. I missed a chest. This is what this is. I missed a whole chest. We'll straighten that out off, off camera. I thought I got them all. Alright. Let's get some more of this and this. Let's see how much it takes so I don't make too much bars. I don't want to overdo it right now. Okay, so Phoenix Blaster, 24 damage, 10, and hang on. 10 bars. Straight bars, right? Okay. I'm going to exit in there for a second. Uh -oh. There we go. Go up. Make one Phoenix Blaster. It's a strong 24 range. I might want to upgrade that a bit better. And it takes musket balls to fire. Right, while we're here, let's go ahead and make sticky bombs. Let's just go ahead and make all 30. Alright, let's put away my stuff. Don't want to carry on this stuff everywhere. Alright, goblin. Let's turn this into something great. Unpleasant again? Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Just critical strike? That's not very great. Oh, of course. You don't give me anything good? 
Yeah, 28 range. 5% critical. We'll use that for now. Right, back to the media. Almost got him. While in mid run, it's kind of hard to hit, hit a moving target. Not for the imp, though. He takes stuff out frequent. He's like, I have perfect aim because I am AI. Yeah, and this thing fires that fast. I'm clicking. You can make it fast. That fast. It's the best it can do. Let's click on the button on the mouse quickly. And you know, so it's like every three rounds there was a pause in the middle. And my aim is off. Haha. -ha. Sniped. Now we're gonna sticky bomb this thing up pretty good. Hey, get off. And these guys do a lot of damage, so be careful. Alright, one over there. One over there. You. Man, get off me. Can I not mine my stuff? Dang it, man. Dang me, your head. Get off. They hit this a lot faster with the bombs. You'll be running out of bombs faster than you run out of meteor, though. The only reason you want to collect this stuff up is that even if you don't make anything with it, it does come in handy later on, way later on. You can make a specific item out of like Moon Lord pits and all the ores in the game. Not going to spoil it yet. Let's see if I even get that far. Yeah, it's a little faster than digging them one at a time. And uh, the meteor heads will stop. After so many blocks are destroyed of the meteor. As you can hear the music, well, it sounds like corruption, so you can't really tell. But usually in, uh, if you're in a meteor... The music sounds like a uh, hell layer. It has the same music. Dang it, dude. Did I just put down a piece of that media? Uh, yeah, media. So I'm not supposed to put it back down. I must have got a lot of it because I think that extra, when my bombs ran out, it filled up this extra spot in my inventory. Or it could have been iron. I can't tell when the music stops because I'm in the corruption. The best thing to do is if you just, just watch your peripheral vision while destroying the meteor. And you can see the meteor heads coming because they glow. And you just never stop swinging. What? Why was I putting them? Oh, that's why. Shift key. I uh, brought out torches. But you just watch where the meteor heads are coming from, and you just turn your character while you are swinging your pickaxe. Because they can get destroyed by it. I'm trying to take enough of this so it stops spawning meteor heads. You can farm meteor heads for money, though. Because I think it takes 50 blocks of meteorite to make a uh, meteor biome. So if you place 50 of this, these blocks down somewhere, you can make your own meteor biome. Which then will cause meteor heads to constantly spawn. And then you can just sit there and farm the meteor heads for money. If you're interested in that kind of thing. I think that's all they ever drop though is just money. To be honest with you. I don't think they have any chance for uh, accessories and or weapons. Not unless it's so rare that 
I've never found one. I don't think it does anyway, so. Yep, I think I destroyed enough of this meteor to cause the meteor heads to stop spawning. Because you don't see any more. And I got 661 nuggets. Yeah. Yeah, that was iron ore. Alright. Nice. Job accomplished. That's a dead end. Nobody wants no dead ends. Vile stream of vileness is so vile. That's a dead end as well. We're gonna see if there's any more shadow orbs down here. And there is. Let's see how fast we can take out old, old worm butt. I'm more beefier this time, I think. Because I have the Knight's Edge. I wonder if Water Bolt can do some major damage to him. Or that Spear. Ooh. That Spear. I haven't got the uh, the Light Orb or the Light Pet yet. That's one thing I haven't gotten from here. And... Dead End. Well, latch on, bro. That sounded really bad. Don't take that out of context, guys. Alright. Do I have any shadow orbs over here left? Can't remember if I destroyed one already previous, or I have to do with destroy all three. Why not end this thing with a boss fight? A very weak one. Yeah, no, it's like the Eater of Worlds has always been quite easy. So if you guys ever, if you're not familiar with Terraria and you want to start, start, you know, get the game you guys do yourselves, I would recommend starting with this boss first because he's is quite easily easy. I can talk. Look at that musket. That's some good damage. But it's slow fire. Don't ever hit these with your hammers or anything because it does massive damage to you. It's a very bad idea. I have killed myself hitting these before. I wanted to see how much damage it did. <laughs> I went down and like, I hit it twice with the hammer and I was down. Roughly two hits. And boss time. Mr. Boss Fight. Let's try this uh, spear. I want to lengthwise. Let's length it. Worm tooth. Oh, it must have been a normal worm. <laughs> it's like, you hit the head of these, this dude, and he, he goes down quick. It's where all of his damage comes from. Well, my health has not even moved. Hey, man, you went by way too fast. Come on back. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Smack. He just got bee smacked. If everybody knows what I'm talking about, bee smacked. I can't. I don't. I don't cuss on my channel if I possibly can help it. But you know what I'm talking about. All right. What did we get for that? Did we get a trophy? We got some more scales, and of course that. I think this stuff's worth a lot of money. And if you can't find any more shadow orbs, and you wanted like farm the demonite and or scales that you can sell I don't think these are worth anything but I do know this is worth a lot and all you have to do is just you can make the worm bait using the uh, 
What is that stuff called from those? I think it's wild mushrooms. And those, the rotten chunk. You take rotten chunks and uh, wild shrooms or something similar to that, and you can make the uh, worm bait. It's really cheap. I'm going to show you the recipe real quick. Alright, where's that worm? Or that rotten meat? Alright, oh, not that one. <laughs> There's the worm food. It takes uh, vile powder and 15 rotten chunks. And vile powder is made with uh, vile shrooms. So if you put this here. Yep. And you need crafting. Required uh, uh, objects bottle, which is a bottle on the workbench, like right there. That's all you need. But you do need a lot of these mushrooms, though. Because one mushroom gives you five powder, so you need a bunch if you want to do farm them. But they're in the corruption, they constantly grow. Just gotta look out for them. Let's put all this junk away. Oh, more meteor to the pile. Well, oh, I got a lot. And equipment stuffs. Put this stuff away. Alright, I think we're gonna call that an episode. We didn't get a huge amount done, but next episode we're probably going to be doing a major boss fight and that being the wall of flesh so get ready ladies and gentlemen we might be going to hard mode all right and uh i'll call it right there and if you guys like to join uh, the meerkat family and support my family and help us out hit that subscribe button and if you like my commentary think it helped thank if you think it's helpful, funny, or anything good, then hit that like button. And if you uh, don't forget about that uh, notification bell next to the subscribe button to keep up with my uh, latest videos. And I'll see you ladies and gentlemen later. Bye bye.